Greetings Arcanauts. Uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and a number of folks out there have asked for a tour of the factory. We're also uh, the, the lead car in the Eugene Marathon this weekend so I thought a running tour of Arcimoto's new ramp would be appropriate for the day. Let's go! A funny story about the ramp. We were originally looking at this facility in 2012 as a potential partner for building our frames. One of the only buildings like it in Eugene. So when it became available on the market three days after we started site selection, it's good timing. The rapid assembly of money-making products, aka the ramp. Eventually, the plan is to have all of this become our automated assembly line once we're at full volume production. Welcome to Building A. As we were paused on battery production to get new cells tested and certified, we actually got ahead in terms of building upper frame assemblies, uh, actually even full chassis that you'll see on this line here. So in the ramp proper, we're doing sub-assembly creation, vehicle assembly, and then final assembly of all the different variants on the platform. And what's really critical to getting us to scale production is the next iteration of that core platform, which is what we're calling 1.X. We're planning to have the first prototypes of 1.X on the road later this spring, uh, and then into production next year. We got a full line, we got battery modules back in production, we're ready to rock. All right, let's head over to building C and D check out the machine shop and the new plastics line. Still got a bit of work to do to turn this into a space of Arkimoto standards, but we'll get there. Here we are. This is the new Arkimoto machine shop. Kenny G and Barry White made it over from the amp. And then we've got some other great new hardware here for cutting Arkimoto parts. Now let's head over to plastics. One of the critical cost reduction exercises that Arkimoto has undertaken over the last year is to vertically integrate and automate the production of our body plastics. So a flat sheet of plastic goes into the machine, it basically heats it up, lays it down onto the mold, then this part gets pulled across, picked up by that robot, it runs it across a saw for initial trimming, drops it onto the trim fixtures. Those go into a five axis machine, come out as finished parts to just roll down this conveyor. All right, well, that concludes our short running tour of the ramp. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Feel free to tune in in a couple weeks. We'll be running it back to the amp, show off what we've been doing over there, turning that into our new battery module production facility so that we can build batteries at higher volume as well. Thanks a lot for joining us. Take care.